Hey, it's Richard Holden. Um, a lot of folks have asked me how I paint my study sticks. So we're gonna try this again. We just tried to paint one and the camera didn't work. So now we're using a phone and see if that does better. My cameraman is Ryan Holden today. He's my son. So the way this is painted, we're gonna do one of these. Now I'm not gonna paint the, um, I'm not gonna paint the cap and all that. You guys can figure that out. But supposedly you guys' interest is in how I get the flesh tones. And I start with a basic red. This says this is just red. Got it? Yep. Okay. So here's how we do it. Make a little dot of red. That's all. That's all the red we do. And then, as most of you know, I water down my colors. Get all that water. So I mix it up. Now try if you can just to kind of stay on the wood and not on me. Because, yeah. you know, the carving's much better looking than I am. And nobody needs to comment on that comment. So just be nice, everybody. Play nice. So that's it. I water that down. Tony Harris told me years ago to always take a scrap piece of wood, paint the color on, and see how it looks. And that's how that's looking. It's looking pretty watered down. But that's good. Because what I do is I layer my colors, and I'll show you how that works. I think we're going to do this guy down here. So what we start with is just painting on the red. You don't have to zoom in. I mean, you can if you want, but. I paint the red on to the cheeks and the area that's gonna have flesh tone. I try to keep off the beard. Paint under the nose. I had a light on, you usually have a light on when I paint, but it was actually kind of bleaching out the color. So we're gonna see if I can actually paint without a light. And then if I mess up, I can go, oh, well, it's because I didn't have a light on. And then it's not my fault. Paint that little bit up top. the eyebrows and... and I'm not speeding this up for the camera this is actually how I paint these because you know they're partial paintings there's no amount or that needs to or doesn't need to be it's just however much I feel like putting into it so so there's how we start out there's the watered down red on top of white basswood. So you get a good amount of flesh tone right there. But we're not done with that. We're gonna add a little bit to it. Now what we're gonna add to it, let's see here, I got two brushes in here and I only need one. So let's stick with one. All right. <clears throat> Some of what I do here is kind of modified a little, I mean, not much, from Lynn Doty. So I take a dark blue and I put a dot. Oh, that was a bigger dot than I need, but that's okay. Tubes of paint are not that expensive. Now the blue in my paints really dominates the color. So usually I have to put more of the white and more of the black. So we've got black, blue, and white. And with black, blue, and white, and of course water, and I use one of the wells in my tray, 
fill it full of water. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull a little bit of water into here. I always start with white, just because that's how I always start. And then I'm gonna pull some of the blue. Try to pull not too much, but some. Cause like I say, the blue can, and it might not be all blue, so it might just be this one, but it really takes off. So, now we have some light blue, and now we add some black to it. And we're gonna kinda end up with a, a funky gray. More water, we need more water more black <coughs> so this muddy mess is what we're gonna paint with next I'm gonna clean my brush because you paint water down always make sure you check your brush that it doesn't have too much in it or you're gonna um, end up having the water run on your carbon so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here to the bags and I'm gonna paint this onto the bags I do the bags first and you know at times I'm gonna have to turn this piece of wood so you're not gonna actually see everything I'm painting at the time most of it thanks to my handy cameraman but some you'll miss but you get the idea so I do the upper lid of the eye and the lower lid and if my cameraman did well, he won't show you that I've spilled water on my table. But I've been known to do that as well. And then I always, the wrinkles over here, I kind of pull it off onto that. Just a little. I'll dab into this water. That's way too much water on my table. But I'll pull some of that and just kind of bleed it down. So that's what you have now. Now you've got the skin around or the flesh around the eyes is a little bit darker. There's a little bit I missed. Let's get that before we go further. And Bill, if you're watching or if you see this, this is one of your two sticks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this. I'm going to get a little bit more black mixed in because I want it a little bit darker. And we're going to give him a little bit of a shadow. He's got a mustache, but it doesn't mean that he shaved his chin today. I don't think he has. So it's going to go dark fast. Remember, this is watered down. So this will be darker when you first apply the color than when it dries. It's not gonna be a drastic change, but it will be a tad lighter. And say that I paint that on, I thought, ooh, that's too dark. Then I come in here with water, use my napkin to wipe it off, and look at there. If you do it in a timely fashion, you can erase some of the color. I didn't erase it all, but I erased some. I also erased some of the red. But there's a shadow there now. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of red with the gray. I'm gonna mix those together. And I do this anyway, but I'm gonna do it here. Make sure my brush isn't too damp. And then I come back over this, add more color in. And there you go, now he's got a little bit of shadow. I always try to put a little bit of red back in the bags under the eyes. Now, you may have noticed I didn't paint the eyeballs, and I might have covered this already, but I don't paint the teeth of the eyeballs when I have teeth, and yes, this guy has some lower teeth showing. Well, I don't paint those until I'm done painting, and if you look at the lower teeth, you'll notice that some of the color has bled into the teeth. But I paint a solid white, and you'll never know when I'm done. So some people paint the the eye the eyeballs and the teeth first, and then you know they can put the color on top of it. Because I paint such a watered down color, I do just the opposite. 
But, you know, at times this will bleed a little. The colors will. And I don't always paint um, this, you know. Gosh, he would almost look good with the black tooth, wouldn't he? Man, one of those teeth might keep a little bit of that gray in it. And he might look like he's a cowboy that needs to brush a little. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the red. And see, these are just study faces. So there's, you know. And even when you're doing a full body carving, you know, sometimes you can let an accident highlight a part of the carving. You can let that be part of it. Just like if you take a knife and you go too deep and you chip something off, well then see if you can work it in and have that be part of the carving. So pretty much, I think that's it. I think he looks really good. I think you can see the shadowing and, you know, the flesh tone. I can always, um, I'm going to add a little bit of red to the nose. Just because I want him to look like he's been out there working today in the sun. Because I have a seasonal job. I work for the nursery that supplies the plants to Walmart. And most days I come home, I have a red nose. Because just being out in the sun, and that's even, you know, with us modern day cowboys wearing suntan lotion. Which I hate, by the way. But, you gotta protect yourself when you're out there in the sun all day. So there you go. That's him. That's what we end up with. And like I say, some of that black that's bled into the teeth, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna paint some of those teeth and I think this one right here, I'm gonna leave just like that. Make it look like he's one visit short from the dentist. And I will come in with one of my detail brushes and paint inside for the tongue. Other than that, that's it, man. That's what I do. Hope this made sense. I think my cameraman's done.